Hey, YTBC, third video in one day. Uh, usually not my MO, but here we are. I forgot to show you this. This is a Parker. This is a sub-brand of Dunhill. And this is an estate pipe, English estate pipe. I probably got this, oh, about two years ago. And I believe it's from the mid-1970s. Anyway... Um, some of you wanted to know some clenching tips or how I started clenching. Well, I've been a long time pipe smoker. Uh, I was 17, 17 and a half, and I had a mentor, Mr. Napoli. And uh, I'm a heavy pipe smoker. It's not a hobby to me. It's a lifestyle. And I average about... 14 to 15 bowls on my day off and obviously way less on work days and uh, my good buddy Brody Joe from Nature Photography Guy he does about 18 to 20 a day if he even counts <laughs> well uh, so clenching now my mentor Mr. Napoli he always clenched okay and I'm a young guy learning the the, the pipe smoking uh, lifestyle, and he clenched all the time. My dad's buddies who worked in the mill with him that smoked pipes clenched, and the men in the subdivision, uh, the Ryan Home subdivision that I grew up in and live in now, clenched. I can remember seeing these neighbor men in the yard shoveling snow cutting grass cooking on their grills uh, never taking a pipe out of their mouth i definitely think it's an old school way of pipe smoking but uh some tips well i like a saddle bit stem for clenching and uh it doesn't matter to me if it's bent or semi-bent i'm usually a straight billiard bulldog guy but i like a saddle bit uh stem for clenching peterson p lips i had one years ago i dropped it and broke in half could not clench that thing believe it or not something with that p lip that hole in that center didn't work or uh, the hole on top i'm sorry the hole on top with the p lip now you want you want a pipe, okay, like this, stand well, semi bent, okay, or full bent. Yeah, uh, perfect, perfect. You want to make sure you have a lightweight pipe, okay. Obviously, and, and I, I shouldn't even have to say this. Obviously, a church warden isn't going to cut it. You definitely want to stay away from a heavy pipe like this Winslow. Even though it's semi-bent, this Winslow is a heavy pipe. Not a good clencher. Not a good clencher. This Lorenzo, which I rarely use because I don't like it, it's a sitter. But I have it up, you know, on my stand for decorative purposes. Um, it's heavy too. Does not make a good clencher. The clenching just comes natural. The cadence comes natural. I like to pipe, and I put it in the mouth, and I don't think about it. It just doesn't occur to me that I'm smoking a pipe. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Now, some of you newbies or some of you guys that don't clench may not understand that. It's, you know, it's just like, I, I can't, like driving a car. You just do it, you know. Uh, you, pipe's there. I clench it. But just take your time, you know, start off. See if you can do it. You got to have a light pipe. You got to have a good, comfortable stem, obviously. And that, to me, that would be a saddle bit. And... Of course, heavy, thick, weighted 
pipes are going to be uncomfortable. So if you're trying to clench with one of them, that's your problem. You, you can't do it. Corn cob pipes, I don't like corn cob pipes, but obviously they would make an excellent clencher because they're light. Uh, look at Popeye, the sailor man, right? Always had his corn cob pipe in his mouth. <laughs> Uh, I learned tips. You know, I, I thank you, everybody that inquired. Um, I thank you for all the great comments of me being the uh, YTBC clenching king. <laughs> I think that's a hoot. But, uh, uh, yeah, it just, just comes natural. So you just got to, oh, what what was that Ron Popeil commercial? Uh Set it and forget it, you know. Put it in there and forget it. Fire it up and just get your cadence going. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Speaking of cadence, I didn't do a good job on this one, did I? Busted, right? Well, if you have any other questions, you know, email me. Let me know. I don't know if this was a help or not, but. By popular demand, popular request, uh, I told some of you I would do a clenching, you know, some odds and ends about it. So uh, definitely shy away from them big heavy ones. Get your cob to clench, saddle bit briar, uh, and give it a try. I'm going to look forward to seeing your videos with you clenching. Bye now.